advances us today. Please give these children confidence and to perform in front of their parents. Please make sure that we have school, a smooth run today. Please make sure everyone is happy and happier. Please make sure everyone is healthy and happy to the rest of the all time. Um, Lord, we'd like to thank you for giving us these five weeks to practice and learn all that we learned in this part, all that we learned here, and we'd like you to make it possible for us to do these for many more years to come. The pieces that we have learned over the five weeks period, right? Let's go to
All right, so good day once again. The captain of Sand City Steel Symphony. Um, today, I am I'm very happy and proud because this camp have, have matured or, or, or turned its full circle. We have started the camp in 2012, six years ago, if I calculate it right. And we have started with just about 12, 12 children and Asia, which is my daughter, and a few others. And we in 2016. And now the camp was run this year by Asia. Come here, come for Donna. And Kenika. Right? So we 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 seeing where where the growth is at, right? Um, last year they they actually started <laughs> taking over the camp last year. Last year was a little rough in terms of how they dealt with the children, the little inexperience. Hence the reason some parents was a, were, were a little uncomfortable at that point in time. But this year, they needed less supervision. Um, they handled themselves well, right? And can you just, right? They still have some weak points. Um, three of them make a, a, a good hole, right? Individually, they, they, they would, some persons would pick up, some persons would be stuck. And, they will lean on each other's strengths as well, right? Asia is somebody that is usually punctual. If she would be on time, she'd open the gate, make sure that the children here um, do what they're supposed to do. She's also a very good mu music theory teacher, right? So she's a little weak in terms of, of actually arranging. We have Jordan, who is never punctual, right? <laughs> Right? Up to just now she's not walking. Right? So but she's the strongest in terms of of the practical music, arranging the songs, right? Um, I think most of the songs, uh, two of the songs um, was arranged by her, right? And um, then we have Ken Lika here, who is very good in, in terms of leadership skills, right? You have the children. Um, gravitate to her and so on and so on. So, you know, hopefully within the next two years they will pull from each other's strength, Jonas will start to reach on time, right? Nisha will do some more music and Kendika will, will fall in place with, with both of them. And they will have that strength. But as it is now, they are almost ready to be a second, well, to be a primary school teacher. And this is where, what, what is it, it is about, right? So hopefully your children, after a few years at camps, will take the place of these three, right? And we can do that continuous training program. So again, welcome to Sand City. Thank you guys for choosing Sand City um, to send your children, I, I, I can assure you that this is the place that you would want your children, right? And we are about music education and hoping that we can get as much youths as possible grow into becoming musicians, literate musicians and capable musicians where they can get a living, earn a living from music, right? So I said enough at this juncture, we're going to play a next one of the songs Right? And then we will we will have a, Mr. DK Reese come and address you guys. Right? Aquil. Right? Aquila Rindel, um, captain of San City. Right? So Jason, you're supposed to be playing this song, yes or no? 
right? Which you might be able to go on a weekend and so on. So I live in a, a sort of liberal home, so I had a free movement. So Saturday, I go on 10 a.m. After 10 a.m., if I have no money to go on to tea, I go in teenage Spaniard with some of my father who used to play pan at the time, partners, playing pan. So then we are playing and thing, right? When in that time, Spaniard came and gambled in the back. I'm going to hang day. See, there's only big man here, boy. You go in front. See, let me run the band, you're waiting there for whoever to get out of the stage of the cinema. And somebody in the band, a young boy, you come and look at the thing. Right? Hmm. And that was it. There's always this disposition for men to transit. The music and the art form, the beat to use. This tradition here today is an ongoing tradition. It's sad that we still operating in a desert of isolation, of no appreciation, of money being spent on all sorts of youth initiatives that's not working. When we function in steel bands like Sam City, doing the job with no resource, no recognition, no support, and no sponsorship. And not only that, no proper appreciation and respect from the world. We don't stand up for the band. I just listen on the radio, and everybody who has anything to say about the band, about not our people. The band should be good doing, with this one doing, with that one doing. The same way they talk about Dara today, when they leave him isolated out there. It's the same thing that is being done, we do to ourselves all the time. Right now, pan is more appreciated. Or elsewhere than in Trinidad. And what is happening right now, too? There's a revolution going on. Little children eating up fan music like nothing. I can tell you in my day, learning to play fan, I was never as fast as these children are in picking up music. We have talent, we have potential, and I want to carry the vision beyond what the captain states that the training musicians we need to develop pioneers into pan theater where all the arts of conglomerates dancing, music, drama and so on so we can take the pan out of just a repertoire playing idiom into theater, into different mediums of expression into different forms of entertainment to make the music more commercially viable in concerts and so on. <laughs> right? There's the discussion on that. Panorama, who in Panorama? You understand? That's it and that's it. Uh, thank you all for having your children here, Children San City. I hope you all will con continue to have your children here. I also hope that you would um, probably encourage other people to be here. And also, come and support the children. Don't send them here. We are not babysitters. <laughs> this is another thing that happens. Panya is babysitter for people. Every time you see parents, there's going to have a problem happen. Other people have dropped the children. They just stare around. They just evaluate what's happening. They just make comments, negative or positive, in terms of making a contribution. We need to do that. Collectively, as a community, we, we are very apathetic towards our own culture. I hope that um, from this little occasion that you'll be a little more energized and more committed towards fun and the indigenous cultural arts of Korea. Thank you. Right, at this point in time, I would like to just showcase some of the, the 
the younger kids that you guys may not be seeing sitting where you are. So, can, can the younger kids come in front? All right, so give them a round of applause. Right, and we also we also have with us this year, um, Jaden. He's visually impaired. Right. So you guys can see from the age we start. Right, and you'll see within the next two years, these same children will be, will be playing and jumping up on stage and enjoying themselves and so on and so on. So, you guys can go back to your part. All right. So, for the, we, we introduce, well, we will play our next song. I would like to just give persons a little idea of what next, because a lot of parents will afterwards and after the five weeks what next so we have a music literacy class every Saturday it will start back when school reopens right that class is $40 a session right it teaches uh, reading and writing music mainly scales and how to solo how to improvise on the steam band right uh, other than that we have three classes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, in, in the evening, 6 to 8, and those classes are basically for children to learn to play songs, and that's three classes. However, when school opens, hopefully the same group of children, we will be training them for the next six months until Junior Panorama, right? So, the plan is, to take this same group of children and have two days practice, which is Monday, Tuesday, from five to six until February next year for Junior Panorama. Once you guys are interested in that, that, that is where where we would that is the direction that we will be heading. All right. So again, just so, just just to reiterate, we have a music literacy class, forty dollars a session, Saturday, ten to twelve. And that is important, music literacy. If if you you would like a child to be, become a music teacher, they have to be music literate. They have to be able to read and write some music, right? We have also Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, free music classes where they learn to play songs. And we have other than that, Monday and Tuesday from five to six training for junior panorama. Right? If any other questions, if you're unsure you didn't get the information, you can just lace with us after the pan camp to get the information. And that would all it, it will all happen when school reopens, right? So we go in with the next song. Are you ready? Alright, good. Um, two, three, four.
we have Councillor Paris, right? So give him a round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Governor, give him a round of applause. Hey. All right, Mr. Governor was, was, was one of the main persons responsible for rebuilding our panyard in terms of getting our, our panyard fixed and ready for, for the pan camp. So let's give him a round of applause. Okay. At this point in time, we would like to invite Councillor Paris to come and, and give greetings on behalf of San Fernando City Corporation and his worship, the Mayor, Mr. Kazim Hussein, who are also instrumental of having this, this facility back up for us. So let's give him a round of applause. Pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. You all must be so proud because I sat down there and I said to myself, wow, the future of this country is really safe. Really, really safe. When you make an investment into your children and in five weeks they could play songs like that, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, let's give these children another round of applause. I want to recognize Mr. Governor because um, I know the challenges that you face sir, and you did a lot of work. I understand you have a, you have a, a, is a daughter, daughter that is in the band. You must be so proud. You must be so proud. Ladies and gentlemen, I heard Mr. DeCaries, and I'm saying to myself, wow, how could I follow up such an insightful speech like that? Especially touching on the historical aspects of the San City Steel Orchestra and the Steel Band Movement. All I can really do is stay humble and learn, just like everybody else here. I have a 15-year-old son and I vow, well next year he'll be 16. And I remember his mother and I always, he, he, he showed some inclination of, 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 of wanting to play music at a young age. But you know something, sometimes we as parents, we need to continue to push our children when we see them have that talent. And we kind of let it die off. And that's not a good thing. And what I see here, I said, Next year, when he, when he lives in the United States, when he comes back, he'll be 16 years old, bigger than me, he'll be coming here to learn to play pan, right? I don't know if at this site, because I, 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 I know that there are big things in store for San City Steel Orchestra, especially if I have anything to do with it. But um, I really, really, really am impressed at what I'm seeing here, right? As a matter of fact, I only hear free class, free class, free class. If I have time, I might come to one of your free classes. Eh? If, if I have time. Ladies and gentlemen, I came here, what was it? Maybe at the beginning, maybe the second week of the pan camp. Second or third week. And that, it was the first week? The first week. Look at that. And I saw them, they were sitting down here. So it's not only pan your children living, eh? So you're really, this, this is money well spent. They were watching a, a, is, is a play or a production or something like that. And I sat down in the back here and I was so impressed. And I want, I want, really want to see this play. Eh? You have Hollywood actors here, man. I'm so proud of these children. So you have a well-rounded, well-rounded program here. I myself wasn't born a politician. I'm an artist by trade. I went to my parents, so I had a talent at a very young age, and they invested into me. So I know the importance of the art. Not everybody could be a lawyer, not everybody could be a doctor. Certainly the world needs artists and politicians, no, not, not politicians, artists, <laughs> artists, artists, and musicians, who somehow find themselves to be politicians, right? I was having, uh, in, my, in my office today, we were recruiting, for um, MTS, right? And one of the things that I realized, we really, really, really have a problem in this country. Allow me to touch on it. 100% of the people that came to the interviews this evening were women. And I remember walking around to gentlemen, young men, who promised that they, would, they wanted an opportunity. Councilor, I want the opportunity, I'm going to come. And I had to leave there and come here. And what I was quite impressed 
was the three young ladies who have taken over. They started here just like these young children here, and they have taken over. And that's an indication that in the world, believe it or not, men, women rarely run things. Eh? And, and, and the reason why they're running things too is because we really, really, really miss the boat. We ain't really seeing where it is that we can go in the future. We prefer to do delinquent things on the corner than to really come to a pan theater, come to a pan camp and really do something. So when parents see this ability in their children and invest in their children's future like this, you all really deserve a round of applause. You all are the captain of your homes and the captain of your children's future. You decided your children's future by investing into them like something like this. And I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to continue investing in the future of your children. With those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you sincerely for inviting me. Thank you very much. Right. So, right about now, we, we're going to get into the, the play aspect of it. And then, so we'll give them a little two minutes to get their things organized. We'll listen to a song uh, on, the, on the song system, the big song system. So just give us a little five minutes and uh, we'll get everything We usually post a play every cast. Yes. Uh, and usually, usually it's the children that come up with ideas, the people who play and it is it's usually a play where, where it, it grows, right? We just start the idea and move into one thing to the next. However, this year was this year is a little different. We had we had Asia's Asia's grand grandmother came to the camp and she was so impressed with what what was going on at the camp and she had a a, a skin ready. So they took this kit and they, they made it their own. So I'm saying all of this so we can recognize the right side of the play. Um, I haven't seen the play yet, and she, she hasn't seen the play yet as well, so I'm gonna be, you know, be excited to see what what, what so I'm going to introduce Ken Lika who will say something before the play starts. Alright, so give her a round of applause. Jason. Okay, good day everyone. My name is Ken Lika. And I just want to say a little word about what it is. It's a surprise, but you know, in just teaching your life, a life lesson. That's what we actually saw well, in the play, carrying about a life lesson, right? And I give it a little hint, so I'm not saying that it's just, just a life lesson, right? So we're gonna start. Just give them a little hint. Right? Oh, you already, eh, boy? Oh, they will lock you up. 
on one day. So we have been, we will be playing on, at that gig in the morning and we will be playing at another gig in the evening. I'm saying all of this to say that parents would have to accompany their child to the first gig, right? So we would, we, after that gig, we would send Maxi with the parents and the children back to San Fernando and you guys will find out on the way home. We will then be going to another game, right? We will be practicing Friday, same pan practice, same um, pan camp hours, coming from 10 to 2 to practice for Saturday, right? So you're sending your child, 10 o'clock, right? The 2, they will practice their songs, they will practice all what they need to do for that show um, on La Hapita, right? We will need to get from you guys an idea of who would be attending and who would not be attending. Um, Eighty dollars would be the cost of the maxi to reach there. There would be a lot of fun things to do, bouncy castle, rides, a lot of different entertainment, food, and so on and so on. So before you leave, you will raise with Kendika about who, how much of you guys will be going because you may want to carry the person, uh, father as well, mother as well, brothers and sisters, it is open. So Thank you. 
then again, that brings us to the end of the program. Right? We we have two announcements to make. Ms. Boswell, we'll do those announcements. Um, um, Ms. Boswell, we'll do those announcements. In from September, starting from September, right, okay. we'll be having not only like music classes, but like academic classes for primary school children. Right. Tell them what to find. Let's come on. Um, right in the pad, after school. <laughs> But, um, we like to have, have an Come forward. Let them come. Come, 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 come. Let them 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 come.